Okay, we'll say what's up y'all in three, two, one. What's up y'all? Oh my god! I'm sorry, but that was like an harmony. <laughs> Q&A of a bunch of different questions that you guys might have about college soccer. Our first question is tips for getting recruited. So, Maddie, why don't you take this one? <laughs> okay. Um, my first tip for recruiting is be consistent with your emailing and calling of your coaches. If you're really interested in a school, um, make sure that you're emailing them and make the email emails personal. Kind of tell them a little bit about yourself and what you like about the campus, what you like about the university, and then just be consistent with it. If you really do like the school and you want to be there and you can see yourself going there, then I would just stay consistent with your emailing and calling. Yeah, don't just like copy and paste the email. Like make it very individualized to each school. And always attach like a highlight video or something if you have one to your emails and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, if it just had a big accomplishment or made it like mm -hmm they made it through the tournament um, or really well during their season that's always a good thing to highlight and make it known that you know that they did well because then they're like oh they're paying attention to our school okay our next question is what it's like bouncing school and soccer and Gabby's a nursing major so we'll let her answer I've taken some pretty hard classes within the past two and a half years and I've really had to make sure that I set enough time study uh, with soccer because when you're in season it's a lot harder to be able to have a lot more free time to study and get those assignments done. And Don't procrastinate. Yes. Have a planner or, some, or schedule or something where you write yeah. down assignments on their due date um, and like schedule it out with all your practices and stuff. Okay next question is what a typical day is like so it's different season to season but we'll start out coming in in July and that'll be strictly just conditioning and lifting and kind of getting yourself ready for preseason. So preseason is when we actually start soccer practices so we'll have two days for soccer practices and we'll keep doing lifting and conditioning while doing that and those practices are super hard super long so it's super important to fuel your body and hydrate and then during season it's a little less of practice because we have more games so you have to have recovery day and then we'll have class on those days. Next question is how hard it is to transition from club soccer to college soccer. Yeah um, so it's definitely an adjustment and everyone kind of adjusts to different pace and people pick up on things um, faster than others and you know people like learn the quicker pace of the game faster than others and are able to play quicker than others like whenever they first skate here. Um, it depends a lot on your like club and high school experience as well because some cl club coaches like trained these certain things and took these certain things really serious and if you get to college and your coach like emphasizes different things than your club and high school coaches did uh, more than others that you're used to it's definitely a bigger adjustment there um, <clears throat> and it's hard to see like other people get the playing time that you want and stuff whenever you're used to having that in club in high school. So it's definitely an adjustment, but as long as you have coaches who are positive and you really respect them and you have teammates who are there for you, it's a, it's smooth. Yeah, I feel like everyone comes in being like the star athlete of like your high school and club team, and then you get there and literally every single person was that person. Mm -hmm. So you just have to keep grinding and stay positive and don't let it that affect you. Alright, our next question is what questions you should ask when going to get recruited at different colleges? Um, I think for one of the biggest things is the environment you're going to be in. You have to ask like what the team environment's like during practices, what the coaches expect out of their team, their players at practices. Um, I also think just like the team dynamic in general is a good question to ask because some teams don't necessarily hang out socially, but um, I think that's also important because if you want to be able to be best friends with your teammates, not just teammates, I think you need to ask that question as well. Going on a different end, I know that school is a big part. Is That's why we're all here too. We're not just here for soccer. So asking about how you can get the certain major you want, 
how you can get that accomplished is a very good question and those resources that are available for you that's how, also really like how easy it is to balance school and soccer with yes. what major you want yes mm -hmm. going back to that um socially part if you have at your disposal players you can actually meet with who are actually on the team definitely don't be shy i know it can be scary like talking to college players who are actually on the team but really use those resources and players because those are the people who are actually on the team and play and have those connections and best friends. Literally just ask as many questions as you can because you want to find the right fit for you because if you don't you're not going to have good experience and I feel like when you know it's the right fit you'll have a feeling. I don't know it's kind of weird but I think everyone gets that feeling when you know you know. I don't know. One thing I would emphasize too when Maddie mentioned conditioning um, really ask about like summer conditioning and stuff and packets and um, like if they if there is a summer conditioning program when you need to when you would need to report to school when you would need to um, like do stuff on your own and start that in the summer because some schools have early report dates in the summer than other schools and if you don't want to come in July or the end of June then maybe that school would be the right fit for you yeah. okay um, what do we do when we are not at soccer watch Netflix <laughs> take Netflix. lots of naps yeah. <laughs> Okay. We actually like are not in season right now, so mm -hmm. we don't really know what to do with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We're all we've all been working out on our own yeah. because we're bored. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and there are a lot of you know nice coffee places around the area too. Like <laughs> yeah, we go some... shopping at like boutiques yeah. or Target, the farmers yes. market. Is fun. Yeah. yeah. You'll find stuff to do, but also soccer is our life, so we don't have a lot of time <laughs> yeah. outside of soccer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next question is um, the hardest thing about being a student athlete. I mean, I think it's like balancing everything. The Fitting in time for school yeah. and soccer while also maintaining a social life and, yes. you know, keeping. Because when you balance school and soccer and that's all you're focused on, you can get really, um, like, not, you just get stuck in a routine and yeah. you kind of become like a robot and you don't really experience fun outside of those two things. Not that you don't experience fun during soccer, but, you know, you have to, like, find time to ha have fun doing other things too. So that's probably the hardest part is making time for things outside of school mm -hmm. and soccer, I would say. Yeah. Another hard part is sometimes when you come in into college, like fresh into college, and you're um, in seasons and soccer is one of that first seasons that you know, school is in, it can be really frustrating when you have upperclassmen who have been there for a while, who have been coached by the coaches, who have had, you know, they've got like a couple years of experience on you, and it can be a little frustrating when, um, you know, you come in and, you know, you've got a lot of stuff to work on, but um, just maintaining, staying with it, and working hard is like a really big thing, and don't get frustrated too early. Okay, the next question is, what is our conditioning like? So, conditioning during the summer is really hard. They're like doing everything they can to get us in game shape, and we do a lot of 800, 400, 200, a lot of those, and then we'll also do sprint workouts and everything like that. It's definitely challenging, but it's also very rewarding after you're done. And then when you transition to games, like it's a huge difference when you're not in shape and when you are oh, yeah. in shape. A lot of shuttle work too, because yeah. in soccer you cut and go so much. So, yeah. okay. Um, next question is, what is our preseason like? Thank you. Yeah. So we report to school um, normally beginning of July, and throughout that season, that time period, July to like one of our first games is beginning of August. We have conditioning five days a week and lift two or three days of the week after conditioning normally. We're not allowed to touch a ball during that preseason. So we condition in the mornings because in Missouri it gets really hot throughout, during the day. So we condition really early in the morning. But then we have the weekends off most of the time. And then when preseason starts before our like actual conference game start and we're just in exhibition games and stuff and non-conference games our practices are really intense during that time period because it's more about getting ready for season figuring out what works for us getting our touch back so we can be ready for conference because that's when the most important those are the most important games of the season pretty much okay um we're gonna wrap this up here so the last question is how do we feel our bodies as athletes um, so, first thing to note, we do have lift and run early in the morning, so we actually have a success center, it's called, um, where basically there's 
a place for athletes to go and get food. They've got cereal, um, milk, oatmeal, um, different sandwiches waffle you can makers. make, waffle makers, and they've got different snacks that you can just Fruit. quick grab and go to. So, uh, but how we feel our body changes throughout the year, but an example would just be in season. Um, you know, eating a lot of protein and carbs to be able to fuel up for practice and eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. It's, like, crazy what nutrition can, like, do to your performance. Like, if you're not eating the right things and eating, like, junk, you in your performance, it's a huge difference. And when you're fueling your body like you need to be, you're energized, and then hydration is key. Girl! No. What you doing? 